my last video on vortex-based mathematics, I showed how the vortex and the pattern of 3, 6, and 9 were just a coincidental feature of a base 10 number system. In this video, I'll be showing how another supposed proof of the specialness of the number 9 is just another meaningless coincidence that is easily explained by the properties of numbers in base 10. The argument goes like this. There are 360 degrees in a circle. The digital root of 360 is 9. If you cut the circle in half, each angle is 180 degrees. The digital root of 180 is also 9. Continue to cut the angles in half, and the resulting angle's digital roots will always be 9. This perpetual appearance of the number 9 reinforces its significance as an especially meaningful number hidden within the patterns of nature. But why is it there, and how does this work? In my last video, I explained why all multiples of 9 have a digital root of 9. To repeat, adding 9 can't change a digital root because to add 9 is equivalent to adding 10 and subtracting 1, or increasing the 10's place by 1 and decreasing the 1's place by 1. The simultaneous increase and decrease cancels out, so the digital root stays the same. 360 is a multiple of 9, so its digits add to 9, but why do the quotients continue to add to 9 even after repeated division by 2? To make it easy to understand, think of dividing by 2 as dividing by 10 and then multiplying by 5. That way, dividing by 2 is like multiplying by 5 and moving the decimal place over by 1. The digits stay the same, they just change places. No matter how many times you do this to 360, the factor of 9 never disappears. So every result will have the digits of a multiple of 9, and therefore, a digital root of 9. So we start with a digital root of 9, and do nothing to change it. Why would it be a surprise or a mystery that the digital root is 9 the whole time? My criticism of vortex-based mathematics is this. The recurrence of the number 9 is more plausibly due to the properties of the decimal system than that it is an actual property of the universe. To demonstrate this, I have to show mathematically why 9 is showing up and how in a different base, a different number takes its place. If 9 really is special, then it would be up to the vortex-based mathematicians to explain why the universe prefers the decimal system. If other number systems are capable of producing patterns just like the vortex, or the Fibonacci sequence, or these bisected angles, then it begs the question, what makes the base 10 number system special? So, once again, this is getting debunked twice. First, choosing 360 degrees for a circle is cheating. It's a multiple of 9 already and dividing repeatedly by 2 won't remove 9 as a factor, so the digits will always add up to 9 because you started with something that adds up to 9 and never changed it. That would be like starting with 1 and then repeatedly adding 2 and saying, watch, it's always an odd number. It's not impressive, it's not interesting, and it doesn't prove that there's anything special about odd numbers. Second, this trick will work in a different number system. So if I do this in base 6, I should repeatedly get a digital root of 5, the highest digit, if I repeatedly divide by 2, which shares no factor in common with 5. Take a look. 